Hi, this is Kathy. Today I'm going to show you how to track the recruiting process in Excel for your staffing needs at your business. This is a great way to track your recruiting processes since it allows you to embed documents and keep track of candidates and all the things that go along with it. And here's how. If you go to Excel, go to File and just create a new workbook. A blank one is fine. And in each column, you can widen them. The first title in column A can be your candidate name. Type in candidate name. The next column, you can type in their address. The next column, you can type in the hired column to keep track of whether or not they're hired or not at the end. And the way that I like to do this is I like to take two columns for the title, just select two cells, go to Format Cell here on your ribbon, and at the bottom there's Format Cells. Go to Alignment, and click on Wrap Text and Merge Cells, and click OK. And what that does is that gives you two cells that are merged together, and then you can center hired right over it. Adjust your column width. And now you can put a subheading that says yes, and another subheading that says no. And you can bold all of these, center. And now when you come into your spreadsheet, you can just simply type the information and it will keep track of it for you. I'm going to add another column that is titled resume. I'm going to bold that, center it, and here's what we're going to add to our columns. So I have my first candidate who is John Doe. He lives on 36 Mechanic Street. Have we hired him? I'll say yes, we've hired him. I can place an X right there. And for his resume, I'd like to embed everyone's resume within the worksheet for easy access as a hyperlink. What I can do is simply right click on the link where I want to insert the hyperlink, scroll down to hyperlink, and I can choose the resume file that I want from my computer that's saved. So I'm going to scroll down on my desktop and I'm going to look for the file called resume. I'm going to double click. And there you have the hyperlink and when I click on it, it will open up the Word document. And you can continue adding candidates' name. You can make new fields, new columns, however you so choose in order to keep track of your recruiting process. And that's how to create a recruiting process in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching. I'm Kathy.